This young man suffered a bilateral amputation of both his arms when he was seven years old. He's currently 20 years old, and he needed to be more uh, functional and be more independent. His mother had died, and so he was an orphan. He was in an orphanage, but he was an avid runner. He was doing a, the New York Marathon. It just happened that one of our processes was running in that marathon, and so he told them about our faculty practice clinic and how he comes here with patients that have both prosthetic needs and orthotic needs. And so we have both the gentleman that had the amputation as well as his whole medical team from Moscow here for our expertise in that area. He is a definite outdoorsman. He, he swims, he runs. So we, we needed something that was going to be lightweight, durable to impact, and waterproof. And all roads led to the manual body power system. So it's a cable operated uh, prosthesis, which is very old and traditional, but very light, very reliable. At this point, we're doing an initial fitting. And what you're seeing is um, something we haven't tried, and as very few of them exist. Uh, and he's very, very fast out of the gates. I asked him what he wanted to do, what his goal was for his arm, and he said he wanted to be, to be able to feed himself. So I think that's a great goal, and I think he will achieve that. He's had his initial fitting today, and we were working out some of the kinks with the prosthetist, and the, the team was here, and I was talking to them about things that he can do when he goes back to Russia to work on being able to better manage his prosthesis, to learn how it um, the motions that he needs to use to be able to, to work his prosthesis. He's strong because he's young, he's 20 years old, but he doesn't have endurance in the muscles that he needs, so he gets tired very quickly. So we were giving him different approaches on how to do that when he returns back home. This is absolutely incredible. And then everyone who has been helping him was, of course, was absolutely awesome. And uh, he appreciates the teamwork. And uh, yesterday he was um, trying this prosthetic first time in his life. Uh, and uh, it was something new, he never has tried it. And it is like driving the car first time in your life and you don't know what you're doing, but you really wanted to learn. And then he really wants to learn and he doesn't want uh, um, to disappoint anyone. And he promised that he will do his best to, to, to continue practicing and reach his goals. Uh, but he said he would never be able to do it alone. So it's not him, it's a teamwork which made it possible.